big, he's big, he's big. There, you got it, you got it. Yes. Oh, yeah. There, he got it. Oh. We've got massive amount of redfish in front of us. Oh, yeah, beautiful trout. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Nice. Look at the size of this grouper, folks. Wow. This is awesome. Welcome to another episode of Sling and Bait TV. I'm your host, Captain Todd Fouché, and today we have a special show for you. We're fishing in the 7th Annual Ruskin Family Fishing Tournament. I'm fishing with a good friend of mine from the forum, Red Eye, Brad Lieber. We're going to go out and try to get some snook, reds, and trout and see how we end up in the weigh-in. So don't miss the action. A little snook. God dang it. You can get it right in that calm area up there. Not the size we're looking for, but it's our first snook in the boat this morning. I got an inshore slam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. There you go. Yeah, almost. Not a bad little snook but we need one bigger than 27 inches. Oh, that could be a good snook. No. It's a snook. Not the size we're looking for, though. No, I don't think so, but... It's a fish. It gets you off... Well, you already got off puts the side a little grin on. At least it puts a grin on my face. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's all about. That little fish control you. <laughs> this guy, he's, he's got a little bit of size. Yeah, he's too. not bad. He's not bad. He's bigger than mine was. <laughs> Just need what a couple, couple millimeters. Yeah, <laughs> centimeters. That's encouraging, though. Yeah, that's encouraging. Folks, we're getting ready to leave these redfish. We got two in the box. We're pretty happy with what we've got because we think the t conditions are going to be tough with all the other contestants. We're going to go off. We caught a couple of snook. We got one real close to slot, but we're going to go off and see if we can't get a couple in slot. Then we're going to move off, go catch some bait on the flat, some pinfish, and try to go get some grouper. Nice snook. That's a slot. That's our slot. Be, be nice right with them. Be good with them. Don't force them or anything. Just kind of, just keep pressure on them, but don't. That's got to be close to slot. Don't take too much time with them either, because he'll shake his head and he'll wear that leader right out. Now, uh, uh -huh. I'll be shocked if he gets slot. Hey, he don't feel. I don't know, that's not a bad, that's not a bad fish, brother. I don't know. He's close. He's very, very close. Hi, right, I can't come to the phone right now. Do you leave a message? I don't know. Yeah. He's close. He's close. No. Nah. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Not a bad fish, man. No. Nah. Not a bad fish at all. It ain't easy. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Folks, usually uh, when, when you're targeting, trying to target slot snook, the numbers, what they come out with is about one in 50. One in every 50 snook that you catch is a slot 
fish, which is between 27 and 34 inches with the tail pinched. So they're very difficult to come by, and in this tournament, we need to catch at least one of them. At least if we can catch one. I lost one at the boat earlier, as you saw. You know, he had one, what is a quarter inch short? Yeah. That one was an inch and a half short. Not much we can do about it except for keep fishing, so that's what we're going to do. That was a good fish, though, man. Yeah. You know, you can never tell until it gets close to the boat. Oh, oh, God, he's big. Come on, he's big, he's big, he's big. There, you got it, you got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's our slot right there, folks. That was sweet as you can see. Oh, my Lord, I watched him come up and eat the whole thing. There you go. Oh, that's a slot, all right. Watch out. He's going to be close. I think he's over. He looks big. We didn't That's have much fight to him. Keeper. Uh, he'll be close. Give me some love, brother. That's it right there. Yep. That's a 27 and three quarters. All right. Persistence paid off. <laughs> but that snook chased that bait. I saw it. Did you see it? I, I he saw chased it. that bait all over. He was going back and forth, back and forth, and I just gave it line and was hoping to God he'd come back because when I saw him, I knew that was a slot snook. And sure enough, man, he came right up and popped it. I think that's the same one we saw pop out here. And we made a readjustment with the boat to able to throw out there, and I've seen more snook. So maybe we can get one more. If we can get one more, we may have this whole thing wrapped up. But we may go pat it with some trout. We can't decide if we want to go grouper fishing or what we want to do, but if you can't tell, I'm pretty excited right now. So we're going to see what happens. Woo! Man. That was a nice one. That was awesome watching that fish come up and chase oh, that bait there. like that. Sitting there flying yep. by. Well, folks, we're, we're, we're finishing up on our fishing right now. We're going to head over to E.G. Simmons Park for the weigh-in. So stay tuned. I. I I have a good feeling about today. I know other people will be bringing in some fish, but uh, we caught some nice fish, so hopefully we can we can end up uh, doing some good in this tournament. But uh, stay tuned. You won't want to miss the weigh-in.